All right, so we're going to go back and start and talk a little bit more about the sum of squares. I think that what we agreed on is that the best way to discover it is backwards. So we're going to start with this. We're going to start with a plus b squared. So if, if you don't mind, let's see if we can figure this out backwards and see how this turns into this. I guess what the main question being that we're having is, where did this 2 come from? Right? I think that was the part that confused everybody the most, and, and me too, too, to a degree. So let's just take this. I'm not going to call this an equation. Just It is an equation, but I'm not going to set it up that way. I'm just going to say x plus 5 squared. You know what? Maybe I better just call it what it is, f of x. Right? What I'm asking you to do, I'm asking you to do is ask yourself, can you see this? Let's... Let's on the first one, let's see what we're, the way that we're going to see this. And we're going to see if we can do this without expanding it out to x plus 5 times x plus 5. But here it's x plus 5, isn't it, times x plus 5. So in the other examples, maybe we'll try not to expand it out to this. So if we do our FOIL, I think that this 2 here comes from, uh, as Austin has said, comes from the O and the I part of this whole thing. But let's just foil it out a little bit. So we have foil is first, so x times x is x squared, isn't it? And then this is what I'm suggesting to you, that this 2 right here, let's change the color of this 2, this 2 right here, we have 5 times x is 5x, isn't that true? And then when we do the inside part, we have 5 times x is another 5x, isn't it? So I guess my question is, how many 5x's do we have here? We have two 5x's, don't we? And then when we get to the very end, then we do 5 times 5 is 25. Right? At some point, I want to get to the idea that this 25 is 5 squared. Right? And I want to talk about the fact that I think this is the b value here, and that, that this x right here is the a value, but we don't have to get there yet, but hopefully you can see that we end up with x squared, that's this a squared here, and then we end up with two of these five x's, and that's two a b's, I think, and then I don't, I don't think there's any argument about the fact that the b squared comes from five, positive five times positive five is b squared, is that all right? So can we try one more example, please? Let's see if we can see how this one might, might work. This one, let's try to do it without expanding it in our head. See if you can actually see this. Vaya con Dios. Oh, God.